Hello everyone, and welcome back. So, when we last left off, we had just gotten back from the Twilight Forest, and we have killed several bosses. Sadly, we have not managed to kill the Naga, or the um, elusive Hydra. But, one thing that I have noticed is, we happen to have a good amount of trophies we've been collecting from these Twilight Forest bosses. I mean, we have the Snow Queen here, and then there's the uh, Phantom that we killed. Where did we put it? Where did we put the phantom trophy? I know we have a phantom trophy. Okay, that is weird. I know we had the other trophy. Am I just blind? Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, apparently I was just blind. Yeah, so we got the Night Phantom Trophy, Snow Queen, Twilight Lich. So... We have these trophies. Now... Yeah, there's supposed to be a trophy pedestal, which seems I can't find. So yeah, these are all the different trophies. Now, this is the questing ram trophy. It's different than all the other trophies because you actually don't kill the questing ram, which is good because I would like to keep it. Well, I suppose I'll just put these up on the wall for now. Yeah, those are some nice trophies. Okay, so I think it... Oh, one second, everyone. Sorry about that. Mm. It's early in the morning. So, I'm a little at a loss for what we should be doing today. I'm thinking that for starters we should probably see about repairing our Manulian tools. Which could be problematic, I'm not certain. I've never actually repaired a Tinker's Construct weapon before. Hmm. But I know that we happen to have an anvil right here. So how do you repair these? No. Uh, let's see if we can get an ingot. Where's the ingot cast?
Let's see if we can use this to repair. There we go. Yeah. So that's all we have to do. Good, good. Not to say that this is good pricing, because, well, let's be honest, it's not. <laughs> um. Now, something we could use this armor shard for is making night metal. And you can use night metal to make a lot of these gears. But the thing is, I'm not really all that interested in uh, night metal. enchanted items when I can instead use it for something else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these... Hmm. Not very impressive as far as armor goes, honestly. Yeah, I want to see if I can melt these down to make some night metal. Yeah, they're melting down. Oh, wait, no. Can't melt down a night metal sword. Or, or, yeah, but you can melt down the helmet, which is good, because night metal is useful for making a very nice tool that I like to use. And granted, it's a little bit of an unrefined tool, but it is a tool nonetheless. Yeah, I want to focus on completing all the Twilight Forest quests and getting all their cool, unique items before we try to take on the Aether. Because the Aether has had a lot longer to develop than the Twilight Forest. And, you know, it, it's it got some new features in it that are still in development. And it's got a few bosses here and there. And it's just really interesting. Let's see how much night metal we get. Yeah, five ingots. That ain't terrible. Okay. Let's, uh... Oh. No, no, no. We, we don't want to put our ring in there. I would love it if the, we were able to include Aether materials in the uh, Tinker's Construct uh, smeltery, but sadly I believe that they don't want cross-compatibility with... Uh, oh, shit. And it's okay, I can just put that back in. I mean, it's not like we're having a lava shortage, because we can easily just replace that. By the way, can I... No, I can't. I can't EMC night metal ingots. So, we're going to have to go back if we want to get more night metal for this special tool I've been working on. Hmm. 
I mean, it's pretty lucky for us that Night Metal's common is all shit right next to where we spawned. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's like 21 blocks away from us. Right, right, I forgot. We kind of need to use this uh, pickaxe to get down here. You know what, let's light it up in here so we'll at least know where we've been. Yeah, by the way, the reason why I'm in here right now is so that I can try to find that special uh, helmet crab spawner that we found earlier, because that will actually be a sustainable way for us to get more night metal armor shards. If not just the ingots themselves, which I'm more interested in, because you need those night metal ingots and everything in order to make this uh, special item that I enjoy using. You know, despite the fact that it's so dark down here... Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, armor shards. Steel leaf, more armor shards, ironwood. By the way, ironwood is unique in that I can't actually use it or melt it in this meltery. Supposedly, it's got some sort of unique properties that keep me from being able to melt it. But that's perfectly fine, because fiery metal's way better anyway. Provides fire resistance, and any weapon made from fiery metal automatically has a uh, fiery touch to it. Or auto smelt. This place is huge. It says the spawners here. Ah, 
hear the sound of those spiders. Or helmet crabs. Actually, you know, I think this thing just goes a lot farther than I originally thought. So... You know, if I didn't know any better, I'd say we were going in circles, but that would require something to be breaking our torches, which really isn't possible at this time. Now, I know that there are mobs that are capable of breaking torches, but this is not one of the times nor the places where that's possible. taking forever. Why is there so many winding passages here? What the hell? Okay, so I'm going to pause it for here, and I'll be back when we... Oh, we found it. Okay. Yeah. I'll see you all next time.